Go Bearcats TV here with Coach Hilton Days following a 2-0 victory over Green Bay. Coach, the first time your boys have been able to hold an opponent scoreless today. What did you see from them out there today? Well, I mean, you know, I think Green Bay made it difficult. You know, I mean, I thought that the first half, um, you know, was back and forth. I mean, I think they did a good job of countering, all right, uh, off our possession when we lost it. And they were dangerous. I think um, Adams' free kick and the goal by Jack Clark really opened the game up a little bit, got us the lead, and then obviously playing with a lead is a little bit easier, and we were able to get the second goal fairly early in the second half. So, you know, I mean, it was a tough game, I think, um, because they were very organized and they were always dangerous. I mean, they almost scored there towards the end. So we'll take it. You know, um, I, I thought that overall um, we showed good poise. I, think, I thought we managed the game pretty well, and the score is probably indicative of, of the play. All right, and Coach, uh, Green Bay head coach Jeremy was once an assistant of yours. How difficult is it to prepare against someone who was on your staff for five years? Well, you know, I mean, it was tough. You know, Jeremy recruited a lot of these guys that are on our team. You know, he was with us for five years. Great guy, did a great job here. We knew he was going to be organized. We, he knew more about our team than we knew about his team. So that's an advantage for him. Um, but, you know, it's great to see him. I mean, he's doing a great job there. They're going to continue to be a team not to be reckoned with in the future. He's going to he's going to do a great job of getting players that can fit into his system. So it's always good to play people who you know and respect. And you know, Jeremy obviously is one of us. So we're, we're happy to see him get a chance with uh, Green Bay, and he's going to do great things there. Because John Manga getting his first minutes of the season tonight. How important was it for him to come out and play? fairly well uh, while he was in heading into conference play. Well, definitely. You know, John right now, is. we needed to get him minutes because he's not match fit yet. He's not sharp, so he needs games. So we wanted to get him in a little bit, get him, you know, some touches and, and get him get him, get him, him moving so that so that he can, by the time we get to conference, he can be ready. So, you know, physically, he's, um, he's sound. And so now we just got to work on getting him fit and getting him sharp. We, now we have five days off before our next game. So we've got some time for John to get ready. But it's good to see the big fella out there. And Coach, you mentioned it. You've got a couple days off here. How important is it going to be for your team to recover during those that little break? Oh, very important. Because, you know, we've got guys with bangs, with, with, with bruises, and, and, you know, with some muscles issues. So for us to have a few days to give the guys so they can relax and recharge their batteries is great. And so um, I think we're hitting the break at a good time. And we just need to take advantage of it now and make sure we get refreshed and ready for, uh, for Cleveland State next Wednesday. All right, Coach, again, congratulations on the win and good luck on Wednesday. Thank you.